Hey there YouTube, it's Troy Shipman here and today I'm going to tell you why we interrupt this standard broadcast to bring you breaking news of minor importance. We apologize for any inconveniences and regular scheduled programming will continue next week. Hey guys, Troy Shipman here and today I'm going to talk about something that happened really recently. So about a week ago, Stephen Fry went on a talk show where he was asked what would he do if he was confronted with the truth of God? And his response was basically he would confront God with the tragedy that happens on earth and ask him why. And this kind of troubled me a little bit. Stephen Fry is an extremely intelligent man. He's created a lot of controversy for a lot of things in order to get people discussing it and people talking about it. And that's, I think, a really good thing. And I respect his view on atheism simply because I know he's well read and I know he's well versed. And so for this, I really respect Stephen Fry. However, in this instance, I must say that I'm a little bit disappointed. Disappointed. I'm paraphrasing here, but his answer to the question, what would you do if confronted with the truth of God, is that he would accuse God of basically immorality or a lack of ethics or a lack of compassion. My question for Mr. Fry would be, if you were to approach a being who could create and destroy you without breathing, could you really approach him as an equal in order to say, why have you done this? But I think the problem with Mr. Fry's argument is that God is not your boss. He's not your colleague. He's not your equal. The very concept of a god is that they are a divine being with immense power so to have the audacity to say to a being like that how dare you i think is utterly atrocious mr fry goes on to say that he could not respect a god who allows these sorts of things to happen and i think that's fair enough i have no problem with that argument however i think it would be foolish to not respect the power that that being represents Something about being all-knowing and being everywhere and being omniscient in the sense of seeing everything that is, was, and shall be suggests to me that a being with that kind of power, with that kind of consciousness, has the ability to make decisions for us that are much, much more thought through and more responsible than what we can make ourselves. What I'm saying is that it's not our place to question someone who was there at the birth of the universe and who will be there at the end of it. And this largely is the reason that I have faith, because realistically, there's not a lot in this world that I can do. But I know that the God that I serve has got that power, and he has much grander plans than I could ever imagine. So regardless of whether I can see him, or whether I can speak to him, or touch him, my faith is my way of believing that he knows what's best for me, and that in the end, regardless of what happens to me, there will be others who have been affected by the work that God has done through me. Anyway guys, thanks for watching. This has been this week's video. I'm sorry that I interrupted the broadcast of the intended video that will be commencing next week. There's just been a lot going on and this has been playing on my mind a bit. So I hope you guys like this video. If you did like it, please leave a thumbs up below. If you've got thoughts, comment below as well. If you want to catch more content like this, please check out last week's video here or subscribe up here. Anyway, it's been lovely having you. I'll catch you guys next week for more fun art stuff. Hope you have a good week. Bye.